Hi guys, I'm going to change Zoe. I'm sure some of you have missed this beautiful girl. See that beautiful smile. I'm going to put her in this outfit I've had for a little while. Shelly sent me. This is the top. It has Pooh and Piglet embroidered here. And Pooh is dangling this little flower that's hitting Piglet's nose. And it says, that tickles Pooh. That's so cute. And it's got roses. And then this is the sleeve, kind of like, I would think this is the eyelet material, is that? I'm not sure. But it's sweet. It has a Peter Pan collar. It's zero to six months. So it's going to fit her pretty baggy. Um, or it may just fit her just right. Because it's um, pre-loved. And it has the little bloomers go with it. So I thought that was a good outfit for today because it's still warm here. It's not, I mean, it's, it cooled down somewhat, but it's still warm. It's not completely fall yet. And then I got the bottle that Mandy sent me and I put the milk in there. And what I did was I got Saran Wrap, put that underneath the lid so the milk would not fall through to the nipple because I don't want to modify it I don't I love them so much I don't want to modify them and you can't see the milk come through the bottle because of the color of the nipple so I thought you know why ruin the integrity of the bottle so yeah that is um what I did I love that bottle thank you again Mandy for that all right so let's let's change this little muffin here a little sweetheart. Hi, baby girl. Hi, sweetie. Hi. Mom, this is you. I know. I've been giving your new baby sister a lot of love. Let me take this dress off of her sitting up. This dress is, um, it's going to have to go over her head. I don't want to pull on her arms. Taking it off the other way. Here we go. Here we go. Just watch those lashes. There we go, sweetie. diaper. I can't remember the last time I changed her diaper. So I'm going to check on that. My husband is uh, blowing the leaves in the front yard. So that is him. Uh, I guess you know what? You could use a a diaper changing. So let me go grab one of those diapers that um, Mandy sent me today. Hold on. Okay, make sure it's recording. <laughs> I love these diapers. Did you make a little sweetheart? Did you make a little sweetheart? She is so squishy. Her vinyl is so soft. Um, I know Crystal found that out um, because she has the Maisie sculpt now and she just couldn't believe how incredible soft the vinyl is from the sculpt. Oh, this diaper is going to be perfect on her. I love these diapers. And I'm going to save the other two. Leave this one for Zoe because Zoe is special. Very, very special to mommy and to her artist. There we go. All oh, those fit so cute. Hold on. 
too much. There we go. Aww. That was so cute on you. You're such a big girl. You're such a big girl. I'm on this happy girl. can't wait for the holidays guys I'm so excited because I just love the babies I have right now I cannot wait to you know take photos of them during the holidays in front of the tree and for Halloween Thanksgiving all those wonderful holidays that I love to share with my babies very excited about that Especially for Miss Zoe. Because <laughs> she is just so happy. I just love her to bits. I'm so proud of this little girl. Let me sit. There we go. button her shirt in the back. Okay. I didn't get to do that tag that Miss Serenity Smith had going on. Um, I had answered it when we did the live chat when she does those. But I wanted to answer it here on YouTube. Um, and the tag question was, if you had 24 hours, um, what baby would you pick to come alive? And I, I'm sure I'm not getting that verbatim. <laughs> so sorry if I didn't word it exactly the way she said it. But that's the gist of it. And this is the baby who I would pick to come alive for 24 hours because I would love to hear her laugh. I can picture it in my mind. I could even almost hear what it would sound like. Um, I would just, I would love for her to come alive for 24 hours. I mean, this little girl, um, like I've told you all who have watched my videos for a very long time, Zoe is definitely a baby I had made to look like my daughter. And if I had a baby, I feel she would look just like this little girl. Exactly. To the T. And Mandy uh, gave me such a beautiful baby. She reborn such a beautiful baby for me. And I love her to bits. And I would love for her to come to life. But then I would also be very sad, too, at the same time. Because then, you know... Once that 24 hours was up, she would go back to this. Oh, I would get so choked up. I'm already getting choked up just thinking about it because, you know, it's like the po Pinocchio effect. And how much Geppetto loved po Pinocchio and wanted a real boy. And then when he finally got his, you know, wish, oh. I couldn't imagine Zoe going back to being just a doll again after having her alive and breathing and hearing her little laugh. Oh, I don't know. So it's kind of a hard, a hard wish to wish for because I'd want it to come true, but then at the same time, I wouldn't want it to come true because I you would know what that would be like and it would be hard to to have that taken away again look at her little comfy outfit this outfit is so cute on her like I said it's six months but um, it's a pretty good it's a you know it's really loose but I like it that's super tight and it's comfy it's a good outfit for her today <clears throat> Or for the rest of the week, I should say. 
So I don't know what tennies look cute with this. Okay, so we got this option here. Tennies. So the, yes, that would be my answer because I don't want to get into another subject here. But yes, that would be definitely Zoe I would want to come to life. Well, let me put a head pan on her. I think we should do the dark one. Because it will bring out the the pink. It needs to be a bigger headband. That one looks too small. I don't like it. Mama doesn't like it. You need a bigger bow. Hold on. Thank goodness for pause. Okay, so we're going to put this, this big bow on her. I like that one better. These ones are more for, you know, um, Shelby. Even though Shelby can rock the big head wraps too. Um, let me put it the other way. Oh, her earrings snagged it. Darn it. This particular head wrap is like a pantyhose material. Oh, that's way better. Way better. That's Miss Zoe right there. That's my diva baby. <laughs> okay, so I don't know if I'm going to have her wear tennis shoes. Um, so those are super cute. Or have her wear these. I'll probably have her wear these ones. Even though these are super cute. I don't know. Let's just try them. Oh, yeah, I don't open this curtain. There we go. I'm losing light. It's Taco Tuesday. That's what we're going to have. That's our tradition in our house. Um, I had tacos every Saturday with my father, you know, my family, um, because my dad loves tacos. And those look cute on her, but I think I want her to wear those. Put these socks on her. So and now I have them on Tuesdays. I love tacos. And we'll mix them up. Sometimes we'll have chicken, sometimes we'll have beef, sometimes we'll have turkey. You know, it's um whatever we're in the mood for. It's so cool because her foot is a size newborn to one and so is the Saskia well that's what I put on my Saskia um, so they're very versatile her feet are not that big so he's she's a three month size baby but on camera she looks huge to you guys but really she's not she's who's huge in my collection is Andrew <laughs> He's the chunk of monk who wears like a size one and two in his shoe. Zoe is more like newborn to one. So it's cool her and Shelby can sit, uh, share shoes. I love that. little pink socks on that her sister wore. Now she gets to wear. So yeah, I answered that tag and then see if there was another tag going on. Um, I'll probably answer that one in another video. Come on. Get inside here. Why you give me a hard time? Probably because of my nails. I'm not used to having nails on. I want to do some baking this weekend. Oh, gosh. I'm having a craving for pumpkin. Anything pumpkin right now. I am just craving... 
Look at those. They look so cute on Zoe. Hi, Mamas. Hi. Hi, Mamas. Hi. All right, let's feed you. I'm going to hold her and feed her for you guys. Ugh. I like to hold my big babies and feed them. Well, I like to hold all of my babies, but it's a little difficult on screen because you don't know what you're looking at. See, because I don't have it facing me. Zoom out there. Okay, so I hope you're seeing her. Now her head wrap's falling off. Oops. It's okay. We're live. We're not editing. Nope. <laughs> okay, so I hope this is... I hope you can see us. Yeah, you should be able to. Okay. I'm going to use this, babe. I won't tie it up in the back. And we're going to use our new bottle. I have to get some more fabric softener, you guys. Oh my goodness. Oh, you see how nice that bottle is? It just fits right into her mouth. Oh boy. Hey, my baby girl. Oh, I love this bottle. I love the drop-ins. Um, we use those for my niece and my nephew. And I think that's why I love it so much. I love the drop-ins because it brings me back to that period of time when they were little. And I know a lot of you were commenting and saying that you used this brand for your children. Um, these bottles, it said 19, oh no, 2005 on this particular bottles. So they're about 10 years old already, huh? And they don't make them with the latex nipple anymore in the stores. Now they're all silicone. Oh, you're hungry, little girl. Yeah. Oh, I hope you guys are seeing her. I got a mess over here to clean up behind me. <laughs> It is a production, I'm telling you. It's a production to um, film, get their outfits together, change them out of what they're in and then having to put everything away. Um, I would like to start filming again in my nursery, but I need to get a changing table in there. So I have it on my Christmas list. <laughs> I saw some really good ones online. I want a vintage one, of course. I don't want a brand new one. I want an off-white color. If I can't find an off-white one, I can paint it off-white. So I want a spindle one to match my cradle. So we'll see. But that's my, my thing that I want to do by the end of the year. I want a changing table in there. Yeah. Good girl. Good girl. Oh, this bottle is so adorable, you guys. It has the sweetest little rattle, heart, butterfly, baby booties, a baby hat, hearts, a flower, a rattle. I mean, just super girly and so cute. I cannot say thank you enough to Mandy for not just giving me one, but three. And I have an eight ounce that I use for Andrew. And it's over there actually, in my bottles. There we go. Let me put that back underneath you just in case you spit up when mama um, burps you right now. Huh. Yeah. Let's put you over my shoulder. 
Okay. I think everybody's just going to see the back of your, your bum here. <laughs> I got those legs. Look at those legs. Oh, good job. Good job, Zozo. Oh, my precious. All right. She says, I'm good, aunties. I'm good. We're nice and full. Yeah. All right, guys. I will say bye for now. I hope everyone has a wonderful Tuesday. Uh, Wednesday, Wednesday for tomorrow. Uh, I think I'll do that with Andrew. And then uh, theme Thursday is gray this week. So uh, Amy wants us to be creative and pull whatever colors we want to put with our gray items. So that'll be fun to see what everybody will come up with this week. So I'll be looking forward to that. But it's been nice chatting with you. And we will say bye. Bye, everybody. Mm -hmm. She wants to blow big kisses to her cousin Maisie all the way in Canada. Mm -hmm. And our good friend Joanne from Instagram. She just got a baby girl, too. She got the Maisie. Yeah. Yeah, she did. All right. See you later, guys. Thanks for watching. Bye.